Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking another look at trimming a little bit more and also how to repeat a region. That way you don't have to copy and paste. You can do it with just one key command. So let's dive in and take a look at that. Um, in an earlier tutorial, I did show you how to trim the start and end of a region, but not in all cases will you need to trim the start and end. Sometimes you just need to trim the end, especially if the region already starts where you want it to start, like say at the beginning of the project. So I got a project here and track one audio one group. Just the one audio track in it. Track one audio track one audio one. And as always, I'm gonna use control home and control N to see how long this track is basically. 99 bars two beats, one bar one beat one, 99 bars two beats, four divisions, two hundred one ticks. Alright. So we know this track goes from measure one to measure ninety-nine bars two beats. So one bar one beat one division one tick. I'm back at the beginning. I'm gonna tap the right arrow twice. So now only the first region of the track should be selected. 10 bars, 4 beats, 2, 1 bar, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. All right, so if I tap it a second time, now the second region on the track is selected. 20 bars, 3 beats, 10 bars, 4 beats, 2 divisions, 141 ticks. 20 bars, 3 beats, 4 divisions, 41 ticks. And I'm using control home and control N to announce the start time. So control home. 10 bars, 4 beats, 2 divisions, 141 ticks. So that's where the region starts. 20 bars, 3 beats, 4 divisions, 41 ticks. And that's where the region ends. So I'm going to press control home. 10 bars, 4 beats, 2 divisions, 141 ticks. All right, so now i'm going to get rid of everything else on this track other than the first region because it's pretty much a loop that goes through the entire thing so i can show you how to set this up so i'm going to hit Control shift f and that selects the current region and everything after it and hit delete and now that's all gone so if i do the start and end oops uh let me tap the left arrow there one bar one beat one division one tick and control home. 10 bars, 4 beats, 2 divisions, 141 ticks. That's control N. And now if I tap the right arrow again, you see it says nothing. So there's only one region on the track now. All right. So I'm going to tap the right arrow again to reselect that one region. Every time you tap the right arrow, because there's only one region, it either selects or unselects that region. So. 1 bar 1 beat 1 division 1 tick. Control home. 10 bars 4 beats 2 divisions 141 ticks. Control end. All right, there we go. So um, now this we want to have go for 8 bars and loop every 8 bars. I'm going to go to measure 9 10 here. bars 1 beat 9 bars 1 beat 1 division 1. If I play this from here, you will hear that it just kind of fades out. 9 bars 1 beat 1. So... I, I'm going to trim this region here. Now, remember, I already have this region selected. Um, I did control home and control N to verify that this region was selected. So now, because I have this region selected, if I hit command right bracket, should trim the end of the region. So now the region should go from measure one to measure nine. And I'm going to demonstrate that with control home. One bar, one beat, one division, one tick. And control end. Nine bars, one beat, one division, one tick. So you see now it goes from measure one to measure nine. And I'm going to back up to measure 8, so I'm going to hit the period. 8 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. And hit play. 8 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, and 1 tick. And you see right there that there's a little click where it ends. 8 bars, 1 beat, so 1 division, 1 you tick. you can go ahead and fade that out before you do a repeat, or you can do the repeat and then crossfade. So I'm going to go ahead and do a fade out. So now that I have this region selected, I'm going to jump into the region inspector. So I'm going to open the main window in another window just so I can go back and forth quickly. So I'm going to press command one. Now in my voice tracks win. And I'm going to navigate to the inspector. Tracks contents group. Oops, so I got to stop interacting here. Out of tracks, out of tracks. All right, um, I completely added a tracks area. So I'm going to VO left. Inspector group. There's the inspector, interact with it. In inspector group. Collapse, disclosure triangle. So that's collapse. I'm going to open Expanded. that. Region. 35 underscore traps all 124 image. Edit text. So that's the name of the region. Table. No selection. Interact with this table. In table. Row 1 of 10. And I'm going to go to fade out. Blue. Hyphen. 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 Transpo. Find to flex and gain. More. More. Collapse. In group. Collapse. Just expanding. Expanded. Disclosure triangle. More. Text. More. Text. Out of group. Oops. All right. Let's stop interacting there. Delay. Level. Fade in. Pop. Kurt. Fade out. Pop and up there button. we go. Fade out. Slider. Interact with this. In slider. And once again, VO right arrow moves in small increments. 10. And that should be enough. Eight bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Now the click is gone. And if you want to see how this moves in large increments, in I'm going to go back to zero. Now VO shift right arrow moves in large increments. 999. 
but if I hit play, Eight bars, one beat, one. see that's a much, much more noticeable fade out. So I'm gonna have to go back, shift, VO shift, right arrow. So now I'm back at the beginning and I'm just gonna hit VO right arrow once. 10. So 10, now we're back to a subtle fade out, just enough to get rid of the click. Eight bars, one beat, one um, so now that we got that click uh, taken care of, I'm just gonna hit Command W to close this because we don't need the separate separate window anymore. Tracks contents, tracks contents, groove, tracks header, in track track one audio one groove. All right, so we're back on track one audio one here, and what I'm gonna do is hit Command R because Command R repeats the region, so it immediately puts another copy of the region immediately where this region ends, and that basically means that you don't have to copy and then move the playhead to the end of the region and hit paste saves you all the time of doing that just hit command r and now you have two regions on the track and i should still be at measure eight See? eight bars one beat one division Went one tick. right over measure nine and then started over Bars one beat one division and one tick. If I jump to the 17 end of bars this, one beat one division one tick. You see it now goes to measure 17. Same deal. 16 bars one beat one division one tick. 16 bars Stops one beat right one division there. one tick. So I'm gonna hit command R again. Sixteen bars, one beat, one division, one tick. It just keeps going. Um, same deal. Twenty-five bars, one beat, one division, one tick. That one ends at twenty-five. Command R. Twenty-five bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Thirty-three bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Thirty-three. Command R. Thirty-three bars, one beat, one. Forty-one bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Forty-nine bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Fifty-seven bars, one beat, one division, one tick. At this point, I've just hit Command R and then I hit Control N to jump to the end of wherever the region now ends. So you can see you can just keep hitting Command R to length this out as far as you want this to go. If you want this to take up like the entire track, so like let's say you're working on a beat and this melody is going to be playing throughout, and then the beat changes up behind this melody, you can just keep hitting Command R, Command R, Command R to uh, lengthen this out. All right. So now let's pretend I didn't just do all of that. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to do this if you want to do a cross fade instead of fading out like I did before. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to do this with a cross fade instead of fading out. So we are back where we started. We got the single region on the track that goes from measure one to measure 10 something. 10 bars, four beats, two divisions, 141 ticks. And Ten bar nine bars, one beat, one division, one go tick. Go to measure nine. See, Nine bars, one beat, one division, one tick. ends there. So remember, you want to make sure you have the region selected first. You want to tap the right arrow and use Control Ohm and End to verify that the region is selected. All right. So now we're at measure nine. Nine bars, one beat, one division, one tick. All right. So I'm going to hit Command right bracket to set the end of the region there. Now we've trimmed the region. I'm going to use Control Home and End to verify. Control Home, which tells me the start point. One bar, one beat, one division, one tick. And move the playhead to measure one. Nine bars, one beat, one division, one tick. And tells me the start point and move the playhead to measure nine. So I'm going to back up a little bit to measure eight, what period? Eight bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Now, once again, if I play this, you're going to hear a click. Eight bars, All one right. beat, one division, one so tick. So let's go ahead and repeat this with the click. So I'm going to hit Command R a few times. All right. 73 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. So you see we have this going all the way up to measure 73. 65 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. And I'm going to back up here to measure 64. 64 bars, one beat, one division. So now we can hear the click when this transitions over. 64 hear bars, one beat, one division, right one tick. So what you want to do is select all of these regions. So I'm going to go to the first region on the track. I just I'm tapping the left arrow a bunch of times. Nine bars, one beat, one division. Hit Control Home again. One bar, one beat, one division. All right, we got the first region there. I'm gonna hit Control Shift F to select everything after this first region. And once again, you can use Control Home and N to verify. Seventy-three bars, one beat, one division, one tick. That's the last selected region. One bar, one beat, one division, one tick. And that's the first selected region. So everything is selected. So now I'm gonna move the playhead to measure eight, so we can hear the click. Two bars, three bar, four bar, five, six, seven bar, eight bars, one beat, one division, so one now tick. Now if I play. 
You hear that click there. So, crossfading. I'm going to open up this main window in another uh, window. I'm going to hit Command 1 to do that. Now in my voice, tracks, window, tracks, contents. Group. And I'm going to have to stop interacting with this tracks area. Uh, uh, Go to the inspector. inspector. Inspe collapse, disclosure triangle, expanding. Expand the region inspector. Region. Nine selected, table, no selection, in table, loop. Hyphen, 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 transpose, flex and follow, gain, more, expanded 10 items enclosed, delay, okay. level two. That's already expanded, so I'm just going to keep going. Fade in, Kurt, fade out, pop up button. All right, so fade out. So this time we want to go down to type. Type, out, pop up button. And I just use VO right arrow to go from type over to the pop up button. So now I'm going to VO space on this pop up button and change it from out to cross fade. Menu for X, cross fade. There we go, select that. Press X, cross fade, closing menu, X, X ray, pop up button. And so now the fade out slider is now a cross fade slider. And because we have all the regions on the track selected, we're going to cross fade at all those repeat points. So I'm going to just use VO up hour because the slider is above the out button. This table is basically a table with two columns, the parameter label on the left and the parameter itself, the value on the right. So because the slider is above the out pop up button, I'm just going to VO up arrow. Slider. And now I'm on the out slider. If I VO left arrow, fade out, pop up button. You see that's the fade out pop up button. Slider. So VO right arrow and back on the slider. So I'm going to interact with this. In slider. And I'm going to do 10 again, so just be a right arrow. 10. So if I hit play now. 8 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1. That's gone, and I'm going to go to measure 16. 9, 10 bars, 3, 4, 15 bars, 16 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. Because this ends at 17, so uh, measure 17 is another transition point where the region ends and the repeat begins again. So I'm going to hit space. And 16 bars, one beat, one division, one can tick. check these throughout, but there you go. So that's how you go about crossfading it. If you did all the repeats before you realized there was a click there and you got all these repeats on the track, but there's a click there. That way you don't have to go through and select each of them and apply a fade out to each of them. You can just select them all and go into the inspector and do a crossfade. All right. Hope you found that useful. Hope that was helpful to you. If you got any tips or tricks of your own that you want to share with the community, Please feel free to leave those in the comments below. And if you got anything you'd like to see me cover in a future tutorial, please feel free to drop that in the comments as well. And until next time, happy recording.